think of the Kentucky Derby, what kind of people do you imagine participating? Did African American participants cross your mind? They should have, because at the Derby's inception, black excellence and excellence at Churchill Downs were one and the same. African American jockeys were a huge part of the very first Kentucky Derby in 1875. Thirteen of the 15 jockeys were African American. And of course, the race was won by an African American jockey, Oliver Lewis. Uh, even beyond that, 15 of the first 28 runnings of the Kentucky Derby were won by African American jockey. In the 1800s, the institution of slavery created a workforce that helped make Kentucky the center of the horse racing industry. Without the black jockeys, there would have been very little racing in Kentucky. And Kentucky became the mecca of uh, African-American jockeys. Willie Sims was from Georgia, Alonzo Clayton was from Kansas, but they all came into Kentucky to gain their reputation. Well, when we look at some of the jockeys that dominated the very earliest Kentucky Derbies, uh, Jimmy Winkfield, who won two Kentucky Derbies, Isaac Murphy is probably the name that you're gonna hear most associated with uh, dominant jockeys in the early Kentucky Derby. Uh, not only was he, he was one of the greatest jockeys really of all time and is still recognized as such. The first jockey to win three Kentucky Derbies uh, and was the very first jockey to be admitted to Racing's Hall of Fame in 1955. In the post-Civil War era, horse racing was a business that crossed racial lines between owners and jockeys. For them, there was only one color. If you get a jock who rides a horse and wins, you tend to want to stay with him. It's like they said on a racetrack, the only color that counts is green. I'm certain race was an issue when people came to betting. I'm not naive about it, but the thing about it is on a racetrack that you got to remember, if the best jock out there is a black jock and you want to bet on a white jock because you don't like black jockeys, you're literally going to be paying for your own prejudice because the black jockeys were enormously talented. And we have record in the early 20th century of uh, many African-American jockeys like Jimmy Winkfield, uh, the last Af African-American jockey win a Kentucky Derby. Uh, he was a victim of rough riding and there are instances where he was in a race and jockeys were getting close to him, roughing him up, running him up against the rail, uh, trying to intimidate him on the racetrack. Uh, when that starts to happen, trainers are reluctant to use African-American jockeys because they think it's a disadvantage to their horse. So you have just the outright racism of that time period that contributes to it. Churchill Downs has the names of winning horses listed on the grounds, written by African-Americans like Alonzo Clayton, Willie Sims, Billy Walker, and Soup Perkins. Like many African Americans who worked at the racetrack, Soup Perkins is buried at the African Cemetery No. 2 on 7th Street. Tombstones, weathered by time, tell their stories. Another weathered reminder of the prominence of black jockeys has been the lawn statue. In 1963, members of the NAACP asked to have two black jockey statues removed from a Chicago hotel during their annual convention. The reason? Black lawn jockeys often made black people look like caricatures, with exaggerated lips and ridiculous expressions. The response of the hotel was to place a drape over the lawn jockey. Years later, author Toni Morrison considered the offense and offered a counter perspective in her 1974 essay, Rediscovering Black History. In trying to cure the cancer of slavery and its consequences, some healthy as well as malignant cells were destroyed. Instead of being delighted that the profession of being a jockey virtually belonged to black men before the year 1900, we draped the figures and hid their glory not only from white eyes, but from our eyes. Today, with blinders removed and history in full sight, we celebrate the African American jockeys of the Kentucky Derby. Now, let me ask you a question. When you think of the Kentucky Derby, what comes to mind? Thank you.